Do you struggle from gas or bloating? Do you have any skin conditions like tinea versicolor, PD, eczema, or psoriasis? How about yeast infections? Do you get reoccurring yeast infections or are you, are you on the birth control pill? Have you taken rounds of antibiotics? Do you suffer from any brain fog, mood swings, or fatigue? If any of this sounds like you, you may be suffering from a microbe called candida. My name is Jordana and I'm the founder of The Mindful Clinic. I'm a holistic nutritionist and you're watching the M Health channel to learn from the best about health and success. You may be asking, Candida, what is that? Candida is a type of yeast that lives within our digestive tract. It's naturally occurring and it actually lives among all of the other microbes. So the other microbes are considered our good bacteria. Now candida actually plays a very specific role in digesting sugars and other carbohydrates. The ratio of good bacteria to bad bacteria should be about 80 to 20%. When candida grows out of control, that's when we start to see negative symptoms. Candida is also really commonly seen in the vaginal canal for women and it is the type of microbe responsible for yeast infections. Candida can travel into the bloodstream and begin to live and proliferate in other organs, including the lungs, the liver, and even the brain. Candida is also an extremely resilient pathogen, and it can thrive in even hostile environments. Now, candida is highly inflammatory, so it can wreak havoc on your body and your immune system. Candida also plays a role in estrogen dominance because it releases a byproduct called glucuronic acid, which binds to estrogen and prevents its elimination. This leads to the buildup of estrogen and you can start experiencing stubborn weight, low mood, increased cellulite and hormonal imbalances. So how do you get candida anyway? Now there are multiple ways to develop a candida overgrowth. The first way is by having a diet high in processed or junk foods. The microbes that live inside of our digestive tract have many jobs, but one important job they have is to aid in the breaking down of our food and extracting nutrients to feed our cells. In order to have a diverse terrain, it's important to eat whole healthy natural foods. The good bacteria in our guts feed off the healthy natural foods from the ground. The bad bacteria, like candida, feed off of processed foods like pizza, chips, dairy, all sugars, and alcohol. If we have a diet that's way too high in processed foods, the good bacteria will actually die off because they don't serve a purpose, and then candida can begin to proliferate. The second way to get candida is to take rounds of antibiotics. When we take an antibiotic, we are killing all the bacteria in our body. Antibiotics may be necessary if we happen to contract a very nasty bacteria, However, most of the microbes in our digestive tract are very important and actually contribute to our immune system. If you think about the body as open real estate, if we have good bacteria living in most of our body, then there isn't a lot of room for bad bacteria to grow. The main issue with taking antibiotics is it kills all of the bacteria within our body. But the problem is candida is a yeast, so it actually has no effect on candida. So it kills all of the good bacteria and now there's lots of space for candida to grow and multiply. The third common way to get candida is to take birth control or have an IUD. The added hormones in the birth control pill, including a synthetic form of progesterone called progestin, can disrupt the body's natural balance of estrogen and progesterone and lead to yeast overgrowth. Furthermore, candida attaches itself to estrogen preventing the elimination of old estrogen and further contributing to hormonal imbalances. Now it is not just women who experience candida symptoms. Men will also have candida symptoms, they'll just experience them in different ways. Men may not experience the typical yeast infections, but they will have symptoms of systemic candida throughout the body. So what are the candida symptoms anyways, and how do I know if I have it? The most common candida symptoms are cravings for sweets and bread, brain fog, mood swings, skin conditions, arthritis, 
constipation or diarrhea, bad breath, white coated tongue, intolerance to alcohol or sweets, spots or floaters in the eyes, hormonal conditions, stubborn weight, and cellulite. Now that you're an expert on this pesky microbe, I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of candida and restore balance in your body. The first thing you can do is talk to your doctor about an alternative method of birth control. The second thing to do is make sure you're paying attention to your diet. You'll want to remove all of the processed foods that are actually feeding the infection. This means following a low carb diet, especially while detoxing and removing all of the processed foods, including dairy, alcohol, breads, and sugars. You can also include antifungal foods in your diet, like garlic, parsley, cilantro, dandelion, coconut oil, and pumpkin seeds. Finally, it's very important that you use specific supplements and herbs to get rid of candida. Like I mentioned, candida is a very resilient pathogen and it will not go away on its own. Some of my favorite supplements include oil of oregano. Oil of oregano is a very powerful antibiotic, but not just for bacteria, for parasites and candida as well. The second supplement is dandelion. Now dandelion is really interesting because it's an antifungal on its own and it also helps the liver do its job better. When candida dies or when you kill candida using the herbs, candida releases die-off symptoms. Now these die-off symptoms can make you feel very sick, producing nausea, fatigue, and headaches. Dandelion is gonna help the liver to do its job properly to get rid of these toxins so they don't circulate and make you feel even worse. The third supplement is taking a good quality probiotic. These are gonna be your good bacteria. They're gonna line the intestinal wall so candida doesn't have any place to grow. It's really important that you take a, a probiotic that's over 50 billion. The one I have here is 80 billion. This is gonna be really good for candida die off. You also wanna make sure when you're taking the probiotic that you take it at least two hours before or two hours after the oil of oregano. This is because the oil of oregano is so powerful that it can actually kill the good bacteria too. I actually have my own personal experience suffering from candida overgrowth. I first got candida after I gave birth to my son. It's very common to get candida after any kind of hormonal changes. Some of the things I were experiencing were intense cravings for sweets and bread, skin rashes, and a lot of digestive complaints. Every time I would eat anything, I would have so much gas and bloating. It was very embarrassing. I actually struggled for almost over a year trying to tackle candida from different perspectives. I did a lot of my own research, but it wasn't until I got the right protocol that actually got rid of it for good. If you have the right information, you can get rid of candida in one to two months. If not, you might be dealing with the infection for a very long time. Candida is a very resilient pathogen and it's very hard to get rid of unless you have the right information. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, you can always link them up in the comments below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again on a new episode of NHealth TV.